Hey guys, what's happening? So, I have a really odd issue here with this uh, 2012 Jeep Compass. Um, whenever you put the signal lights on, turn signal lights on, the windshield wipers come on. I've already diagnosed a problem, and I'll show you what's crazy about this. Hang on, if I have to call and show you. But what's funny is it's intermittent. So I was actually here to check a different problem, like an airbag light on, but uh, that's my, my, my mom's car, so. Yeah, I hope I can repeat this on camera. But, so yeah, it would turn on the windshield wipers would come on. Or sometimes when you turn the wheel, it seems like it stopped because I was fiddling with it maybe, so maybe I... Uh, yeah, so the windshield wipers would just randomly come on. Um, but it's not doing it now, which is weird, but it's, it's totally intermittent, so I had to replace it. Um, but sometimes it'll stick on full blast. Okay, I wish I could repeat this, but it's... Uh, yeah, well, I'll show you the reason why it actually interferes. Like when you make a left-hand signal, that interferes with the, with the right. Um, well, that other thing just kind of, it's behaving totally odd too, the t signal. Um, so let me take this apart and I'll show you what makes it, this thing unique and like a, why it actually affects this side too as well. All right, so I'll save you guys some time. There's a, you need two different screwdrivers. One is a Torx, you need a Torx um, TR15 or just a T15. There's one there, and there's actually two Phillips in here. I had to get my mirrors. I couldn't see what the hell that, it's weird that I use Phillips here and Torx down here. But yeah, this is a Phillips. Two Phillips, one here, one here, and then a Torx. And this whole top cover will pop up. All right, so this is actually uh, sort of an odd setup. So this is the wiper. That's the turn signal. But this yellow wire here, it feeds back over and plugs into the turn signal switch. And then you have one wire harness thing coming out. So I'm guessing they probably have some kind of maybe some kind of PCB on here. That's I mean obviously you have a lot more functions and wires, so there must be some sort of like a CAN bus type setup maybe. But okay, so I gotta pull this off. Looks like it's I think it just looks like it's one screw, like right here. It should just pop off. Once you get that one screw move, the whole thing just comes out like that. Here's a closer look at the part that I just took out. So that's the one connector comes in for the uh, wiper and it comes out. But some kind of goo on or grease on it, I'm not sure what that is. But what's funny is it just feels like it's very cheaply made for something that's so critical that you have to do 24-7, you know, thousands and thousands of cycles. Alright, it's back together, car is running. Yeah, this feels a lot more. This thing was getting all crazy and unreliable too, the turn signal. It would, sometimes it would stay on, it was weird. But that's just so interesting how this uh, affects this one right here, how they wired it through it like that. So the problem was not here, you know, it's, it was over here. Uh, okay, so the original problem I actually, I uh, went to look at this car was a safety restraint system. So, um, yeah, it won't, it, it, it kind of keeps on going on and off, so. Um, but cool, that's how I did it. This is a, it was only a couple, three screw or four screws, and probably took me no more than 15 minutes. So, but you're having a similar problem, uh, hopefully, this video helps somebody. All right, awesome.